October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and health professionals are reminding women not to forego those breast cancer screenings because of the pandemic. Chief Medical Officer with Buckeye Health Plan Brad Lucas says screenings are down 94% this year, a statistic that's concerning for a number of reasons. It's the second leading reason for, for cancer death in, in women and it's, it's preventable. He says the benefits of getting breast screenings likely outweigh the risk, even taking the pandemic into consideration. Mammogram is going to identify 85% of those cancers, and, and it's, it's frankly going to identify it much sooner th than, than you might on, on a self-breast exam or just happening to notice that something has changed. And medical director for Kettering Breast Evaluation Center's Megan Mooser says young women should be monitoring their health too, not thinking of breast cancer as an issue only for older women. We really are trying to find women at a younger age and screen them um, in terms of their personal and family history to determine if they are higher risk of developing breast cancer because those women really should start screening earlier than age 40. Both urge women experiencing any abnormalities in their skin or breast tissue not to delay seeing a doctor. The longer that we wait, the larger that the cancer can be. And the larger that it grows, potentially could be at a more advanced stage and could require you know, more extensive treatment, um, in the long run in order, you know, to, to fully um, kind of treat that cancer. COVID has, has been such a tragedy. Let's, let's not let it be even more of a tragedy by, you know, kind of not doing the things that we, we know work to take care of ourselves. Both professionals say doing a self breast exam at the same time every month can help a woman familiarize herself with her tissue and more easily spot abnormalities. They also recommend seeing a doctor at least once a year for preventative care and to discuss screening schedules. And for more information on some of those signs and symptoms to be on the lookout for, you can check out the story below. Lauren Mixon, 2 News, working for you.